Welcome to Let's Do Chemistry. Hello, fellow chemistry enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Let's do chemistry. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of organic chemistry to explore a powerful reaction known as the Dieckmann condensation. But before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our exciting scientific explorations. Alright, let's jump right in. The Dieckmann condensation is an intramolecular chemical reaction that involves diesters and a base, ultimately yielding beta-keto esters. This reaction is named after the brilliant German chemist Walter Dieckmann, who made significant contributions to the field in the early 20th century. Now, the magic happens when a diester is deprotonated at the alpha position, forming an enolate ion. This enolate ion then undergoes a 5 exotrig nucleophilic attack, resulting in the formation of a cyclic enol. The key here is the deprotonation and subsequent attack, leading to the creation of a cyclic structure. But why is this so interesting? Well, due to the steric stability of five and six membered rings, these structures are preferentially formed. As you can see, one, six diesters tend to form five membered cyclic beta keto esters, while one, seven diesters preferentially lead to the formation of six membered beta keto esters. This preference is a result of the inherent stability associated with these ring sizes. And there you have it, the Dieckmann condensation in action. This reaction is a highly effective route to 5, 6, and 7 membered rings, making it a valuable tool in organic synthesis. If you enjoyed this dive into the world of organic chemistry, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your fellow science enthusiasts. Stay curious, stay excited, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, Keep exploring the wonders of science.